Hey fans of our beloved Inter Miami, let's go to another video full of first-hand information, but first if you don't know the Inter Miami news channel, subscribe do not miss the latest news, I will always bring you first-hand, so activate the bell to receive everything. Lionel Messi was substituted due to muscle fatigue in the 37th minute of Inter Miami CF's 4-0 win over Toronto FC on Wednesday, only minutes after his former Barcelona teammate Jordi Alba had also left the field. Miami coach Gerardo Martino said after the match that both Alba and Messi would be evaluated in the coming days, but that neither player would be available to play against Orlando City on Sunday so that they might be ready for the US Open Cup final against Houston Dynamo next Wednesday. There is no chance they will be there on Sunday. I know we have a final to play, next Wednesday. But they won't go near the pitch if they can't play," said Martino. Messi and Alba, who both started the game after not making the trip for Saturday's 5-2 loss at Atlanta United FC, were not involved in any particularly heavy challenges or visibly limping but were clearly in some kind of physical discomfort. They trained normally and we felt like they were ready to play, Martino said through an interpreter. I don't believe it's anything new or anything worse than what they had before. It's fatigue, we don't think it's a muscular injury. That's also from a conversation that I just had with, Messi. But we have to continue being careful and we'll look at him the next few days. He added, I'm cautious about what can happen and after talking to them, I'm less pessimistic than I was when I had to bring them off. Both players went straight to the bench rather than the locker room after leaving the field, and Miami's Facundo Farias scored a goal shortly after to give the home team a 1-0 lead at halftime. Robert Taylor then scored two spectacular goals either side of a Benjamin Cremashi strike in the second half to secure the three points. Messi looked lively early and had a golden chance in the 23rd minute when his far post volley was blasted over the bar from close range. However, 15 minutes later, it was clear that the Argentine was laboring due to some physical issue, and he was replaced by Taylor. Alba had departed just four minutes before Messi. Before coming off Messi spent a few minutes dealing with what appeared to be a leg issue. He was stretching his right leg during play, then eventually took off his captain's armband and simply waited for play to stop so he could depart, not even waiting to come off the field before unlacing his cleats, lowering his socks and removing his shin guards. Messi had missed his past two matches, one for club, the other for country, in recent days, after sitting out Argentina's World Cup qualifying win at Bolivia on September 12 and the loss to Atlanta Saturday. Fatigue was cited in both cases, and Messi was not made available for comment. Wednesday's match was the first of six for Inter Miami in a span of 17 days. After the games against Orlando on Sunday and Houston in the Open Cup on September 27, Miami plays three more MLS matches in short order against New York City FC on September 30th, at Chicago Fire FC on October 4th, and hosting FC Cincinnati on October 7th. The result leaves Miami five points behind DC United, which drew 1-1 with Cincinnati on Wednesday, for the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference, with two matches in hand. Messi entered Wednesday having appeared in 11 matches for Miami, most of them in League's Cup and US Open Cup competition. He had 11 goals and 5 assists in those first 11 appearances, including one goal with two assists in three MLS matches. Thank you for watching the video, in your opinion do you think Mesa and Alba are just tired? Write in the comments what you think about this, as your opinion is essential for Inter Miami to continue improving.